Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Chase from Alhamarano Culture Unlimited, rocking the 2017-2018 Cape Town City Away kit. And in today's video, we'll be looking at all the new jerseys for the upcoming Premier League season. That's right, the 22-23 football season is upon us. And in today's video, not only am I going to be reviewing the new jerseys, we're also going to find out if they're cool, bad, or just plain simply meh. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. These are the new home jerseys for the Premier League 22-23 season. Okay, so first up it's AFC Bournemouth, and this is pretty much a Bournemouth jersey. You think of Bournemouth, this is what you think of. Um, you're not going to be mistaken for an AC Milan jersey, that's, that's for sure. Um, what I like about it is traditionally Bournemouth have the vertical black and red stripes, or red jersey with black stripes, but this time around they, they spice things up a bit, and instead of your traditional black vertical stripes, they got this lightning bolt funky vertical design, so that's pretty cool. It's um, still Bournemouth, and I dig it, so that's a thumbs up for me. Next up we got Arsenal, and um, it's the return of the collar for the Adidas clubs, or for some of the Adidas clubs. Um, it's your traditional Arsenal jersey, red torso, white sleeves, can't go wrong with that, it's a tried and tested formula for the Gunners. And um, what I like about this jersey is it, it is a detail on the collar, um, the white collar, and you've got a red, again, looks like lightning bolts again. I think lightning is the trend of the season if you ask me, just judging by Bournemouth and now Arsenal. But, but it's just a bit bland, so it's not the greatest, I'm going to say this is meh. Up next we got the Villains. And um, this is Claret and Blue again. You think of a Claret and Blue, you're going to think of the best football club in the world, West Ham. Or you might think of Burnley. You might even think of Scunthorpe. But obviously, you're going to think of Villa too. This isn't the greatest jersey. There's a quite interesting chevron design on the torso. But it's nothing special. It's your traditional Aston Villa home jersey. It's not bad. But for me, it's not the greatest not much imagination went into this kit, I think. So again, is it bad? Not really. I've seen worse football kits. I think this is a bit meh. An average offering from Castore and Aston Villa. Okay, next up we've got B for Brentford. You might be thinking this jersey looks familiar. And dear viewer, it looks familiar because it is familiar. <laughs> this is the Brentford kit they wore last season. And um, I must take my hat off to Brentford for this. I mean, these days, kits kits <laughs> clubs change their kits every season and what Brentford did was they decided you know what everyone is feeling that everyone's pockets are a bit tighter to make things easier we're going to keep this jersey for two seasons it's almost a throwback to the 90s where clubs would keep the same jersey for a number of seasons so hats off to Brentford well done for making it easy on your fans pocket and um, it's not a bad jersey so um, I think this is a good offering from Brentford I like it we saw it last season it's nothing new but you got to respect what they're doing for their club, for, for their fans. So thumbs up for Brentford. So next up, we've got Brighton and Hove Albion. And they kind of spice things up for this season. Obviously, Brighton usually have the blue and white vertical stripes. This time around, it's um, a bit different. I do like it. However, <laughs> it does remind me of Wigan. Pretty cool, different to what they usually do. Um, but it's all right. I like it. It's not the greatest jersey in the world. I'm going to say... No, look here, because they changed things up, because it's not your traditional Brighton jersey, I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Nice job, Brighton. So next up, we've got Chelsea, and um, this is your traditional Chelsea jersey, but I do like the collar. they got like a white and blue sky, like a white and sky paisley design going on in the collar. I think this is pretty average from Chelsea. Um, yes, it's Chelsea. They have a traditional all-blue kit. There's not much you can do with an all-blue jersey. But I think just to spice things up a wee bit more, they could have maybe put that design you see on the collar at the edge of the sleeves. That would have been pretty cool. And oh, this three logo, yes, they're getting a whack of money for it, but it just makes everyone look like number three, like international jerseys. They have the, the, the kit number in front of the kit. So I'll give it a meh, mid card. Now we've got Crystal Palace. Boy, oh boy, I really dig this jersey. It reminds me of Palace from the 90s. However, I must admit, I was a wee bit disappointed. Um, when, when Palace launched this kit, I was super excited. Um, I like the fact they incorporated the white in the jersey, on the collar and at the end of the sleeves. And I was really hoping that for this season, Palace would have the, um, the white shorts, because often it's been the red shorts or the blue shorts. 
And when I started watching football in, in the mid 90s, um, Palace would have the, um, the red and blue striped jersey, traditional striped jersey, and they, would, and, and they would wear white shorts. Unfortunately, they're back on the blue shorts or red shorts, but I'm not too sure, but I know it's not white. So I'm disappointed with that, but we're not rating shorts in this video. We're looking at jerseys. So I'm gonna say this is a great design. I love it. I guess they could have created this in Microsoft Paint really, <laughs> but I like it. It's really cool. I dig the collar, I dig the sleeves. I dig everything about this jersey. So Palace, you can stay. You get a thumbs up for this design. Well done. And now we've got Everton. Is this a great jersey from Everton? I'm not sure. It's blue. It's an Everton kit. But the steak.com logo, it's quite big. It's quite loud. It's quite in your face. And there's not much from... If you compare it to last season, there was like a, a detail down, down, the, down the sleeve. A Hummel detail. This is a lot more simplistic, a lot more minimalist, and it's it's very average. I'm not gonna lie. Like yes, there's some white underneath the sleeve on the side of the torso, but this is a very below average offering from Everton. So for me, it's a thumbs down. And that brings us to Fulham. Um, it's a traditional Fulham white jersey. I do like the collar. It's a red collar with with a um interesting design motif, red and black design. It's pretty cool. I dig it. Um, it's not the greatest photo. The thing is I was putting this video together and I didn't want to use those stock photos of the model with the white background. But if I'm not using that, it's these photos you get. So it's, it looks all right. It's, it's Fulham, it's nothing groundbreaking. Fulham have had some bangers in the past, but it's, it's a traditional Fulham jersey. It's, I'd say it's mid, it's not bad. I, like, I think the thing that saves this jersey is the color. So it's not a thumbs up, it's not a thumbs down, again, a mid card Fulham jersey. Now we have Leeds United. I like this one. I really, really like it. Um, again, not the biggest fan of betting sponsors on the jersey, coming from a West Ham fan, but at least West Ham's, I'll get to this later, but at least West Ham's jerseys, the Betway is very subtle. Um, so it's neat, it's Leeds, it's a thumbs up from me, I like it. Nice one, Leeds. Now we've got the Foxes, Leicester City. This is quite cool. Again, we're seeing the trend of the collar, the return of the collar. Um, a white collar, both a matching cuffs at the end of the sleeve. Look, it's not a bad jersey. It's Leicester. I'm not too sure why they've got the gold Adidas logo and the gold Leicester crest. They didn't really win anything the previous season. Obviously, um, often when a club wins a, a trophy or a championship, the following season they have the gold crest or whatever. They, they never won anything, so I don't know why it's gold. But it breaks the white, I guess. So that's pretty cool. That FBS, I'm not too sure what that stands for, but it's quite it's quite a large logo. Not very subtle. And also that sleeve design. Wow. That's very big. The, the logo, the advertising spot on the sleeve, that is huge. So you know what? I like the collar. I like the throwback to the collar, but this isn't great from Leicester City. I'm not sure why they got the gold crest so i'm gonna say is it mid is it below average it's a thumbs down for me sorry lester but this kit does not cut it next up we got liverpool and their jersey is made by nike and listen here this isn't the most exciting liverpool jersey it's kind of, i kind of feel the same way i felt about last season's spurs jersey where it was just a white t-shirt for spurs with obviously the branding and the crest and all that now this jersey i'm getting the same vibe yes it's not white but it's ultimately at first glance, it's just a red t-shirt with the Liverpool branding and the Nike and the standard chartered logo on. What I do like about this jersey and what I'm very fond of with past or recent Liverpool jerseys is the crest. They're just using the Liverbird with the LFC below that. And to me, that is perfect. Um, I always found the Liverpool badge, the oval form, the old crest, very clunky. But this is a nice, neat and simple, just the Liverbird. I, I actually love it. And they've been using this design or this crest on their jerseys for almost 10 seasons now or if it's not 10 it's about 10 but for a very long time they've been using this LFC Liverbird design so keep it up sorry it's not the greatest design it's not really groundbreaking simplistic yeah it is what it is so next up we got the Man City jersey made by Puma and this is to me a throwback a throwback to the 90s and specifically it reminds me of that Manchester United jersey from 96 to 98 where they had the Umbro Sharp and, and the Crest all down the middle and now this is very similar to that I mean never tell a Man City fan that their jersey reminds me of a Man United fan but the design is pretty similar yes that old United kid had a collar this is a round neck but the fact that it's all down the middle 
throws me back to that old school Man United jersey. Um, but it's nice. I like the fact that they use claret. I mean, this could pass as a West Ham away kit. <laughs> But it's, it's pretty cool. I, I dig the fact they use the claret on the sleeves and um, on the collar. And everything down the middle. What's cool about that is you can wear a jacket. You can wear a jacket. And you can still see everything what it is. You can see it's an original Man City kit. You can wear a jacket and you can still represent your club. So for that, I will say thumbs up Man City. Well done. Okay, now we've got Manchester United. And I'm going to throw it back to what I said about the Arsenal jersey. Um, again, I did just doing the same thing for their templates. They got that interesting design on the collar, which is pretty cool. And I don't want to talk about Man United this entire video. I already threw it back in the Man City kit. But this reminds me of the, um, the Umbro jersey. I think when they won the treble with the black Umbro branding down the sleeve. Yeah, I dig it. This one gets a thumbs up from me. Now we have Newcastle United. Look, as long as Newcastle have this fun 88 whatever's going on there on the front of their jersey it's going to be mid to underwhelming for me and i would say without the logo it's very cool i like how they incorporated the sky blue or the blue from the crest in the castore and and the um, sponsorship the front sponsor but that is a hideous sponsor for a jersey can't newcastle just go back to the newcastle brown ale <laughs> this could have been thumbs up i'm gonna say mid Sorry, but the sponsor does count, and this is a, an atrocious sponsor. Now we've got Nottingham Forest and their Macron offering. Look, what I like about it is, time of recording, there's no front sponsor. And what I love about Forest is they got the two stars above their tree, above their crest, which obviously represents when they won the European Cup twice. So well done, Forest. Glad you're back in the Premier League. And that's a nice, simple jersey, simple design. Now we've got Southampton. And they're also thinking at the box this season. Um, traditionally, obviously, Southampton have the red and white stripes, vertical stripes. This time around, it's that old school throwback. They've had this design a few times, Southampton. So they're throwing it back again. And I like it. It's really cool. It's different. And it's nice. Nice one, Saints. It's a thumbs up from me. Next up, we've got Tottenham Hotspur. And I don't care for Tottenham. I don't care for their kit. I'm not going to give my thoughts. Awful club. And now we've got the greatest football club of all time. West Ham United. I like this jersey. It's a throwback to their 92 home kit. It's pretty cool. What I will say though, my only criticism of this jersey is the sky, which you get on the um, the collar and the end of the sleeves, and also on the detail on the shoulder. It's almost a bit too light. And in some lights, it looks white. So instead of being claret and blue, yes, there is a white stripe on the shoulder. The two outer ones are white, and the middle one is... Um, sky i just find the sky is too light they should have maybe used a, a darker tone of sky put a little more blue in that color mix but it's nice i dig it it's really cool a throwback this is spicing things up it's a nod to the 90s it's a thumbs up from me i'm not biased but it's a thumbs up from me next up it's the famous old gold and black from wolverhampton wanderers this jersey is it's mid um there was some cool i think when wolves had adidas in previous seasons the jerseys were pretty cool but this is very average. It's not that great. It's a thumbs down from me. Sorry Wolves, but this kit doesn't cut it. And there you have it. Those are all the home jerseys for the 22-23 Premier League season. What are your favourites? Which ones don't you like? Do let me know in the comments below. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't yet, why not subscribe to Alhamarano Culture Unlimited. My name is Chase, and until next time, come on, you irons.